Hey guys, welcome back to Wentworth Life and welcome to another Wentworth Ranking video. Now, I know you guys really enjoy these Wentworth Ranking videos, so apologies for the lack of them recently. Now, today I am going to be ranking the creepy Sonia Stevens, a devious character who is not, you know, not to be messed with. A character who absolutely terrorised the hell out of Liz. Birdsworth, and she caused a lot of chaos inside the prison. So guys, grab your cup of coffees or your cup of teas and let's jump straight in. Right then, so these are my five Sonya Steven moments. Coming in at number five it is... Don sets up Sonya. So this is the moment where we, where everything is kind of revealed of Sonya's backstory when she first came into Wentworth and Don is the copper who has been working with Sonya, like colluding with her. And um, it turns out in a very twisted sort of like storyline, Don gets a little bit greedy. I mean, Sonya gives him some money to pay him off, but he also wants to know what happens to Sonya's husband. And Sonya ends up drugging Don's drink and then Sonya drives out into the middle of nowhere and is about to murder Don and chop him up into little pieces <laughs> but Don he ends up like jumping out of the car somehow he's a big bloke yeah guys how on earth he managed to get out of that car in the dead of silent night is beyond me but anyway let's just roll with it Don manages to somehow get out of the car without making any sort of noise and he ends up hitting Sonya over the head and just leaves her there in the middle of nowhere and then Sonia ends up like you know making her way home through the night and when she gets home the the money's gone and the police are on their way to arrest Sonia and then we've got that moment where Sonia is running around her very nice looking house or apartment or whatever it is it's beautiful I bloody love it but anyway Sonia starts packing her suitcase gets her passport and it's so dramatic I love it but as we all know the police arrive and Sonia does not get away and she is rearrested and sent straight back to Wentworth. Coming in at number four, and it is Sonia throws Liz to the wolves. Now, this is the moment where um, it's all revealed that Liz is Witness X. Sonia reveals it during a radio show to the whole prison. And when Liz admits to Sonia that she feels that she may have dementia, Sonia uses this opportunity to walk Liz into the yard, um, away from her H1 buddies. And then Sonia literally throws Liz to the women in the yard. It's a horrible scene to watch in terms of, you know, seeing Liz so upset. I mean, it could have been worse. I mean, at the end of the day, the women have done a lot worse. I mean, I give you Rita Connors and as an example when the women found out that she was a copper. So, but, you know, nevertheless, sorry guys, that was my mobile phone. Nevertheless, though, it is a horrible scene to watch and, um, but it is actually an evil, evil Sonia Stevens moment and I just had to stick it in here. Coming in at number three, Sonia kills Sharon Gilmore. Now, this, you know, Sonia never meant to kill Sharon. Did she lose any sleep over it? Hell to the no. <laughs> Now, Sonia was after Liz in season six, and um, Sharon, unfortunately for Sharon, she had similar hair to Liz, and, you know, Sonia ended up thinking that Liz had gone to take a shower, so Sonia follows her into the shower, and she sees, you know, the back of someone's head, thinking that it's Liz, and it's not, it's Sharon, and Sonia literally goes into full crazy mode, like, she wraps Sharon in the shower curtain thing and just proceeds to stab her over and over again and Sonia's face during this scene oh my god she's like a wild animal it's a moment that I will never forget it was so brutal and very early on in season six as well and yeah I'm here for it I'm here for it I'm just glad that it wasn't Liz coming in at number two Sonia's downfall. Now, what I mean by this is I'm talking about the moment where Sonia pretends she's lost her memory after being, you know, beaten up by, um, what was her name? Spike. And then Liz comes in to visit Sonia. And, you know, Sonia, you know, obviously reveals to Liz that she hasn't lost her memory, but she's using it as a way to, you know, get out of the prison. 
and um, unfortunately for Sonia, she does not realise that Liz has a little recorder down her chest, down her front, and it's all being listened to live by the police officers. And yeah, this was just the start of Sonia's downfall. I think the scene after this, where she's just lying in the hospital bed, staring up into space. Oh my God, that is what you call pissed off with a capital P. Okay, coming in at number one. Sonia's death. Of course this has to be number one. I mean, it's not really a good time for Sonia, but it was an epic moment. I definitely feel like it was one of the better death scenes, and I think it was like one of the only times we got to witness um, a character um, you know, coming off the roof, because in... Um, uh, prisoner cell block H you know this something similar happened except it was an accident and somebody did fall off the roof and yeah so it was you know it was interesting and I, I, I just loved it this was the moment where Sonia completely lost her mind and um, yeah I mean it is a bit of a pity I do feel that Sonia's death was a little bit premature but more on that later in the video okay then my top three Sonia Stevens episodes coming in at number three Angel of Wentworth Season 6 Episode 6 Now this is the episode where um, you know Sonia puts together the radio station and she gets Liz to join her on the radio station and then Sonia ends up out in Liz as Witness X it was her plan all along and then you know we've got the prisoners are pissed off with Liz and then Sonia throws Liz to the wolves as I was just talking about but the episode actually ends on um a bit of a spooky note because Kaz literally um, tells Sonia that you know now is the time that you are going to be having a kangaroo court and I was like hell yes and Kaz even reminds Sonia what the women did to Ferguson in the last kangaroo court and at the very end of the episode the camera sort of like pans away and an officer walks past and then Sonia just disappears and I was like ooh how spooky and of course John Ferguson appeared as a ghost to Will in the next episode even though like John Ferguson was never dead but that's a story for another video <laughs> but anyway coming in at number two Loose Ends Season 5, Episode 4. So I have just talked about this. It is the moment where we learn the full story about Sonia Stevens. We, it's, the twist is revealed that Don had been helping Sonia. And it's the episode where, you know, Sonia tries to kill Don, but Don gets the upper hand. Sonia goes home and then she gets rearrested um, because, you know, I think this, I think what it was, the police start searching like a river or a lake or something. And, um, looking for Sonia's husband basically because you know Sonia is a serial killer it's a good episode I do like this episode I'm I'm not sure if it's a huge huge um favorite of the fans just by what I've read over the years but I like this episode I love how spooky it is you know the scene where Sonia's driving Don down like a really dark off-road area and they're playing that spooky music oh I love it I love stuff like that and coming in at number one of course it is The Edge season six episode seven this is the episode where Sonia Stevens is pushed off the roof by Kaz Proctor it's also the episode though where um Sonia tries to set up Kaz um, as a lagger and then Kaz ends up forcing herself to burn Ali's hand in the steam press. It's when the electrics go off and Will gets stuck in the lift. It's an absolutely incredible episode. It's definitely a very heavy based Sonia Stevens episode and truly so because it is her final episode and I just feel it was absolutely fantastic. The Edge Season 6 Episode 7 is actually up there as one of my favorite ever episodes okay then so five Sonia Stevens quotes coming in at number five I give you witness X <laughs> this is of course the moment where Sonia throws Liz to the women in the yard and um, yeah I just had to put this one in here because it's so it's such a pivotal moment of the show and it was you know it was, it was kind of like the end of a long-term storyline of the witness X things that had been going on since season four season five and then finally season six coming in at number four look at yourselves barbaric 
<laughs> this is the moment where Sonia is cornered by Juice and the boys in the um, in the shower block, and they're like, you know, they're threatening Sonia because they want Sonia to pay them for like protection money, and um, Sonia refuses because Sonia feels she doesn't she doesn't like being blackmailed or extortion or whatever which one that is. But anyway, she ends up getting bashed very badly by Juice and the boys, and um, yeah, this is actually quite an intense scene. I could I can remember like literally my stomach was turning a little bit sick because we know what Juice is capable of, and the fact that they ended up grabbing Sonya, oh, it was terrifying. I was literally like, wow. How is she going to survive this? But she does survive. She does survive. She takes one hell of a bashing, though. Oh, God. Anyway, at number three... There's a lot of negative energy in this place. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck accent that was, guys. But um, yeah, if this was in season four. I can't. I can't really specifically remember which episode. But it's when um, there's like arguments or something going on in the unit, and um, Sonya just just shouts out, you know, just says out loud that there's a lot of negative energy in this place. And I just thought it was quite witty, and it, it made me laugh. So I had to stick it in here. At number two. I don't respond well to blackmail. <laughs> now, Sonia Stevens, she was a character who loved the quote of, I don't respond well to something. And this was the first time, I believe it's the first time, when, um, Helen, her friend, is like, you know, trying to get some money for something or other. And um, and this is when Sonia smashes Helen over the over the head with a wine bottle. And she says these words, I don't respond well to blackmail. And this was kind of like, you know, everything going forward now. So whenever Sonia says to somebody, I don't respond well to threats or extortion, I always remember thinking to myself, oh, is Sonia about to take her wrath out on this person? So yeah, I loved it. I absolutely love it at number one <laughs> this is a this is a bit of a harsh one but oh here we go i will be a free woman and you you will be stuck in here brain dissolving like an aspirin <laughs> oh my god this is brutal this is savage but for some reason i love it whoever wrote this quote i literally love you i just i mean don't get me wrong it's horrible for liz but this is what a hell of a fucking line to read out oh my god i'm gonna say it again i will be a free woman and you will be stuck in here brain dissolving like an aspirin Sonia was just pure evil like I said she was savage and yeah I don't know what it is but this one always stuck in my mind every time like I, when I first watched it and whenever I go back and rewatch it and the scene comes on I'm just there I'm there for it I'm there drinking my tea waiting to hear these words so uh yes those are my five Sonia Stephen quotes okay then Three Sonia Stevens storylines that I wish had happened. Coming in at number three, Sonia's kangaroo court. Now, it is a shame that we never got to see Sonia stand trial with the women, which is something that they call kangaroo court in the prison. And um, it would have been interesting to see Sonia, you know, answer to some of her crimes. Like, I'm not necessarily saying maybe she should have been hanged, like what happened with Joan, but it would have been interesting to see the women take out some of their anger onto Sonia. Um, it's a shame that Sonia, you know, she went in episode seven. If, if Sonia's kangaroo court had been episode seven and then in episode eight it could have been sonya's death scene of you know on the edge on the roof type of thing but um yeah i just feel it's a, it's a little bit of a shame as i said i do feel sonya's death was a little bit premature coming in at number two Sonia didn't die. Now, um, yeah, I do kind of wish Sonia didn't die in season six. I wish she had just lasted one more season. It was brilliant seeing her downfall in her final episode, but then the writers killed her off. And as, as brilliant as that, you know, the, that scene was, why did she have to die? I honestly feel like it's a shame that we didn't get another season out of her. I honestly, you know, I'm not going to go too much into this because at the end of this video, I'm going to be doing of what what would have happened if Sonya hadn't died. So I won't go too much into this, but I do feel it's just a massive shame. At number one, Boomer smacks Sonya. I just wish that Boomer had realized that Sonya had used her a lot of the time. And don't get me wrong, there were moments where Sonya was great for Boomer. 
but she was also using her, always using her, and I didn't like it, and I wish, I kind of wish that Boomer had got to see the real Sonia just once, but hey, we can't have everything that we want in life, okay. Sonia Stevens' sad slash funny moment, coming in at number three... You can only vote once. <laughs> so this is the moment where um, I think it's Tina Mercado and they're all doing a vote for Top Dog in season four. And um, yeah, Tina tries to vote twice and um, Sonia's like, you know, you've already voted once, you, you know, nice try though or something. And then um, Tina's like, who the fuck are you? And Sonia's like, oh, I'm in for murder or something like that or manslaughter, I can't remember. But it was bloody brilliant. I just loved it. I remember thinking to myself, I quite like Sonia Stevens. <laughs> At number two, I don't respond well to extortion. <laughs> so the, mo the, the the reason why Sonia got bashed by Juice and the boys was due to this scene. But I actually do love this scene because before um, Sonia says this to them, she she's like you know taking some free advice apparently from Juicy Lucy, and then Sonia like almost is almost like you know being patronizing by saying oh wow this is amazing um maybe i could give you a little bit of advice and then she just turns around and says i don't respond well to extortion and then just walks off and i remember thinking wow you are the boss sonia however that was short-lived when you did end up taking a brutal beat into an inch of your life but yeah i do like that scene at number one big cock <laughs> Okay then, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe there's a cock on the screen. Um, anyway, so... Um during the scene with the radio station, um, Liz is getting confused, bless her, and the guy on the radio station is, like, talking to Liz about Don and about them working together because, um, you know, Sonia has just outed Liz. And before Vera gets a chance to end the radio, um, I, don't, I can't remember what the question is, but he asks Liz something like, you know, what did you like about Don Kaplan? And then Liz turns around and says, oh, I don't know, but he had a really big cock. <laughs> And um, and then in the later scene, then Sonia, you know, confronts Liz in the cell, and she, she walks into the cell and she goes, "Big cock, you trying to make a fool out of me?" <laughs> oh my God, it's comedy gold. I love it. I mean, I shouldn't laugh because Liz was a little bit confused, but at the same time, when did Liz see this big cock? I mean, I did not see any kind of sexual scene between Liz and Don. The only thing I saw was kissing. I did not see anything more. Um, so, did she have sex with Don? Did she give Don a blowy? Is that what they call them? In a, and yeah, yeah, maybe she gave him a blowy that we just didn't see it was off screen. Who knows? Maybe Liz was just dreaming about it. I don't know, but I just find it hilarious. Anyway, moving on, guys. Okay, oh god. Sonia Stevens, fuck, marry, and kill. So this was a really difficult one. So for Mary, I honestly could not think of anyone that Liz would marry other than herself. <laughs> that might be cheating a little bit, but I honestly feel like she would just marry herself. Now, when it comes to fuck, I could have taken the easy option and said Don, but no, 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 no. I didn't want her to fuck anyone who she's already fucked. So, I decided that she would fuck Joan Ferguson because they're both psychopaths and they're both sort of like on their same crazy brain wavelength and you know Joan Joan likes the women and I can honestly um, you know see it happening you know um, yeah, so I've just put John Ferguson. And the only easy one on this list for me is the kill. It's obvious. She's gonna kill Liz Birdsworth. She's not only gonna kill Liz Birdsworth, she's gonna, like, nearly kill her, bring her back to life, and then do it again about four or five times, just so that Liz suffers brutally. Because by the end of, you know, Sonya's reign on Wentworth, she had enough of Liz Birdsworth, but yeah. Oh dear me, dear dear me. <laughs> Where has this video gone to? It's gone to some seriously dark places. Anyway, what if Sonia didn't die?
Okay, so I'm just gonna say it. I think Sonya was killed off the show a little bit too early. Now, how cool would it have been if Sonya had survived the fall from the roof and ended up in a coma for the rest of season six? But then she ends up opening her eyes in the final, you know, in the season six finale, indicating that she is coming back in season seven. It would have been fantastic, and this time everyone would know the truth about. Sonya. So, Sonya would be so dangerous on her return to Wentworth, not only to Liz, but also to the rest of the women, especially Kaz. Now, Kaz, she would have been at the top of Sonya's hit list after pushing her off the roof. Imagine if it had turned out to be Sonya who sliced Kaz's throat in season 7. When you think back to the time when Sonya killed Sharon Gilmore, how brutal was that? So Sonya turned into a wild animal. Now, I reckon if Sonya had returned in season 7. She would have teamed up with Mari Winter for sure, and it wouldn't surprise me if Sonya would have been involved in Mari's escape, which ended up causing the big Wentworth siege. Imagine Sonya waving a gun around the prison. Imagine Boomer's shocked face while being held hostage. Sonya definitely would have wanted to shoot Liz. I feel that if Sonya had survived after being pushed off the roof, and she just lasted one more season, I reckon it would have been fantastic seeing the proper a psychotic side of Sonya, with her freedom completely taken away and she would have been killed at the end of season 7 during this siege. I reckon Boomer would have killed Sonya protecting Liz and that would have been a fantastic end. Picture it now, Sonya goes to shoot Liz but Boomer manages to wrestle Sonya into the steam press because, you know, Sonya was only a little person and I reckon she would have fitted in between, you know, the bottom and the top of that press. Then Boomer presses down the the steam press killing Sonya. That would have been a moment that would have shocked everyone, but it would also be very memorable and it probably would be in, you know, one of my top 10 spots on one of my ranking videos if it had ever happened. Moral of the story, if Sonya had survived and returned to Wentworth, she would have lasted one more season before being killed off. And that was my Sonya Stevens ranking video. So guys, what did you think of this one? Was it nice having a little trip down a Wentworth memory lane? Do you agree with most of my rankings in this video? Let me know everything in the comments box below. Okay then guys, well thank you all for watching today's video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Stay safe out there and I will see you all again very very soon.